I introduce to you uh, the heavyweight champion of my life. Uh, I don't mean wait. I don't. I did that. Said so to come out right. She Mitt Romney face often face calls face. his wife Anne a fighter, but really she's the campaign firefighter, always there to put out the flames. It happened in Ohio. He botches the introduction. She saves the day. To be able to stand by me and tell me that my job was more important than his that raising those boys was going to bring forever happiness in our lives, which it has. Um, but now I think his job is going to be more important. So when CNN political contributor Hillary Rosen went after Mrs. Romney. His wife has actually never worked a day in her life. The Democratic strategist unleashed what's widely considered the Romney campaign's best asset. And for months, as Mrs. Romney told CNN's Piers Morgan, she's had a job. It's my job. It's a great job that I have right now of making sure people see the other side of Mitt. Even then, you, you knew that these moments would be fleeting. A web video of Mrs. Romney on her days raising five boys gets top billing on the campaign's website. I miss having all of them under one roof all the time. And she's a natural in interviews, responding to Rosen on Fox News. Look, I know what it's like to struggle. Namely, her health struggles, as her husband has detailed time and again. She was diagnosed in 1998 with multiple sclerosis and more recently with breast cancer. She has battled both successfully. Yes, Mrs. Romney now lives a life of privilege. And drives a, a couple of Cadillacs, actually. But she also reminds voters where her side of the family comes from. My grandfather um, started working in the coal mines in Wales at age eight. The power of Ann Romney was demonstrated in all of those tweets in her defense, from the president's top strategist, David Axelrod, to Democratic Party chair, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, to Michelle Obama. It wasn't long after the first lady's tweet that Rosen put out a statement offering an apology to Mrs. Romney. The backlash should hardly come as a surprise. A fist bump, a pound, a terrorist fist jab. Mrs. Obama took her share of hits in 2008. Romney Press Secretary Andrea Saul says there should be limits when it comes to a candidate spouse. Are the spouses off truly off limits now if they're out campaigning, Mrs. Romney campaigns, Mrs. Obama campaigns? Well, of course, sir. You know, of course, you know, uh, Mrs. Romney is a surrogate for the governor. She's uh, out campaigning for him. So, of course, people are going to look at what she says and examine that. But as far as taking a cheap shot at her um, to make some sort of political, you know, points, put some political points on the board, I just don't understand, you know, what the point of that is. Romney supporters and even some reporters suggested, perhaps in jest, that Romney should pick his wife as his running mate. The Romney campaign envisions a more traditional first lady role for Mrs. Romney, but a Romney aide said, quote, she provides advice and counsel to her husband, but does so in private. Sounds like the first lady the country has now. Jim Acosta, CNN, Boston.